I'm Gary Hernandez here and welcome to Kane Self-Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. In this video, I'm going to cover what you do when somebody grabs your cane and they're trying to pull it away from you either with one hand or even with two. And give me a hand is going to be Bob. And everybody knows Bob, our cane student. Come on out, Mr. Bob. But this time, like in the past, I'm going to be the thug and Mr. Bob is going to put it to me. Now, if you happen to have your cane up and you're trying to push somebody off you, okay, you know, there's times that this right here is going to be easy to grab. Or if you happen to start to lift, your cane's on the floor, you start to lift it, and then somebody may grab it. So the technique we're going to work on, if they grab it with a single hand, so he comes up, If they grab it with two hands, <clears throat> now we're going to go over these techniques. With the single hand, and I'll show you on this side first. I have to, maybe I'm going to draw my hand up or something. He's going to rotate it over my wrist. Right? As he does that, he's going to get to the back side and then strike. Same thing on this side. I have it. I'm hanging on to it. He's going to rotate it over my wrist, get to the back side, and strike. <clears throat> Two hands. Now, if the person's not super strong, you can actually rotate it with two hands. And the same thing. He can, do, he can go the other way, too. And the same thing but if you got somebody with some strength and I'm gonna lock this pretty hard and he's gonna try to rotate it it's not it's gonna have a hard time because I'm locked on solid <clears throat> so I'm holding it strong and I'm locked on solid and I'm starting to pull trying to pull it away from him instead of pulling that way he's gonna go with where I'm pulling as he steps in he comes in and he catches me in the collarbone with the main shaft of the cane as he's striking me, continues to push, and down I go. Again, I happen to grab it with two hands. I'm holding on strong. As I pull, he comes in and he strikes. Very simple. And again, on the single hand, whether it's you know, one hand, He's going to rotate it to get behind me and strike. On the other side, he's going to rotate it and strike. Now, on the rotation, you can even do a, as he rotates it around, just like that, he's pushing down, knocking the wrist away. He can just do a small rotation. As he does that, for, I haven't let go yet, but while he rotates and he steps to my backside, breaks the grab, and then he can strike with any strike he chooses. Now, again, he can. Now, if I have two hands, he can soften me up by simply kicking me in the groin, the shin, the knee. That'll soften me up. Then he can go into a rotation, pull out, and strike. But if he doesn't have a good chance of kicking me and I'm pulling him, then he comes with me, counteracts that, and comes in and hits me into the collarbone. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, take those techniques, practice them. As I always say, make them yours. And hopefully that helps. Gary Hernandez. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Oh, actually, Ms. Brock, coming up. Say hello real quick. They never hear you say hello. Hello. <laughs> Bob's been with me for a long time. He's a good man. Thank you for everything you do, sir. I appreciate You're quite it. quite well. Thank you. So you guys, they're right here. You got to stay here with me. Everybody have a good, good weekend. We don't see you between now and then in a video. And we'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.